Mm. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. Yes, it has been a while since you've seen me. You know what? Hit my music. It has been a while. And I do... S oh, I feel like I'm out of it. That's why I look like I'm out of it. I do apologize. I don't know what happened. I had a work outside all last week. All last weekend, actually. At the racetrack. Again, go check out that video about what about the Insiders. View about what happens at a NASCAR race. Most of it's boring. You do get some views. Other than that, though. I think it was that time. It's time. It's time. It's allergy time. As long as my pink lemonade hasn't been fermented, and I have some solid food. Oh, extra tasty baked cheese to wash it down with. I should be okay. I don't know though. It was a red wine and pizza Friday. I'll tell you what, that creamy jalapeno popper pizza. I don't know what it was. That was good. That was a nice white wine. Gee. Allergy medicine in the wine. Probably not the best idea. If you don't see me Monday, you guys know where to start looking for my name, I guess. That's pretty bad. No, it's just called I'm Getting Old. And unfortunately, when you get older, things begin to break down. Like, look at this. One page. Two pages of wrestling. And that's just this weekend. I'll be honest, folks. I don't know if I can watch all this wrestling. Years ago, in the days of my youth, when I was told what it meant to be a man. Yeah, I've wa I would have watched wrestling 24 hours a day. Now I'm like, dude, I'm sick. I need sleep. Sleep, believe it or not, is the ultimate cure-all. Then... Unfortunately, little chloro tabs. And non fermented pink lemonade. Strawberry lemonade, actually. That's pretty good. So, you know what? There is no picture. I just feel way too lazy. And this kind of snuck up on me. Because remember, I am on my. There's some days that I do apologize. I am still on my uh, copyright strike list for about 15 more days for the one and 16 more days for the other. So yeah, and then I'll see what's going on. Although I haven't made a WW, I haven't made a wrestling video in a long time though. You guys are gonna get treated. Then also. This Monday, it's the return of the Daytona Beach Bumfight League. I'm in the midst of making that card. I just want to snack something. Make sure I don't drink all my medicine up, because that would be bad. First, numero uno, my macho mentor is on. That means it's time to talk about some WWE wrestling. You know what, Hunter herself is Thank you so much, Raw and SmackDown are becoming so much more watchable. And hopefully this video gets up tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to process it tonight, tomorrow morning before I go to the banks. Because I got paid. Hey, I still like getting paid. My check came in from the racetrack for the one race. I'm happy about that. I want to go cash. I want to go deposit that. Uh, that is a good thing. Other than that, let's talk about Clash of the Castle. You know what? Oddly enough, this is going to be the better card. AW. 
And I'll get to my thoughts about AEW way too long. There is no way I'm going to watch these matches. But these are all taking in British Standard Time, which I guess is Greenwich Mean Time, which means I might be like zonked out. I will honestly try to get to the gym because that's important. You need to keep up your cardiovascular health. You need to go to church to save my my soul immortal. I was also somewhat good. Especially as I got older. <laughs> yeah. I'm one step closer to the grave. That's so sad. Let's go do some positive stuff, though. Let's talk about Clash of the Castle. Um, Edge and Rey Mysterio are going to take a Judgment Day. You know, I have Judgment Day winning. Ray's going to turn because he gets whipped by Rhea Ripley. Hey, Rhea. If you're ever tired of, of whipping Dominic, I, mean, I can give you my address. That wouldn't be too bad. I mean, Nikita Lyons is hotter though. Nikita Lyons just looks like a normal woman. But I'll get into that later. Now one day, Gunther, the ring general. Yes, takes on Sheamus. I don't see any belts changing hands really. Gunther's going to retain that belt versus Sheamus. That's going to be a fun, hard-hitting match though. In fact, you know what's going to be so fun and hard-hitting? That is going to be my match of the night. Let me have Matt Riddle versus Seth Rollins. Oh, that back and forth was good. I like the unscripted stuff. Matt Riddle's going to win. And then we have the women's six woman tag match. Six woman orgy, as I used to call it. Maybe that's why I'm sick. Who knows? I'm just sick in here. Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, and Asuka team up to take on Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. I don't know. Oh, I'm torn about this now. I think Bianca. Alexa and Oscar are going to win. I just think this is going to be a feel-good show. And it's Cardiff. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. <laughs> oh, we stocked our ship full of British Grain Bullets. Mobilized the Navy and we called the Marines. We sailed two weeks till we reached the Falkland Islands to teach a lesson to those bloody Argentines. I won't sing anymore, I promise. That goes out to Will Rally Sport Rally and Bump Sucks Though. Wrestling fans across the pond and wrestling fans everywhere. Or I try. Um. Then, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't matter because I would take a nap during this match. This would be my power nap. Liv Morgan versus Shannon Baszler. This might be my one title switch now that I think about it. I have Shannon Baszler winning. Who knows? And the main event of the evening... We have Roman Reigns, acknowledge me, taking on Drew McIntyre. Again, I've told the story a couple times how my sister dolled herself up and looked like a floozy just to get a selfie with Drew McIntyre. Whereas I hate to say it, ladies, if you get a selfie with me, what you see is what you get. Yeah. You know what? In my stone cold lock of the night. I 
I have Roman Reigns winning. Uh, uh, Fortuna. Oh, let's see. Let me write down one note. This is... Oh, wow. That's right. You know what? Normally this would be the part of the show. I have a guest doing this. You know, since I feel like... Blah. I'm trying to get all my medicine in me. Cheers. <clears throat> I'm going to do the whole thing. Because why I'm potentially make someone else sick when I can just be sick myself. So yeah. That's the way I roll, folks. Now let's talk about NXT. When worlds collide. What is it we lay? What's going on here? You got the system for total control. Now it's going to be six minutes of dead air. Or British music, who knows. But yeah. This is going to be an interesting, interesting card. You know when I checked Wednesday night, they only had like three matches, and then they kind of like added a few more. Again, nowhere near the amount of chaos. That's going to be Sunday night, because God knows I am not watching all of that. That's going to be like a seven-hour pay-per-view. I've already told friends, I'm like, you know what, these are like 14 matches. Even though I know one of them is going to be a pure squash match. Which is also going to be my Stone Cold Lock. Hey, that's just not even worth it. Oh, wow. Oh, I did have them winning. I don't know, the Creed Brothers winning. We'll start off a four-way elimination match for the tag team titles. Gallus. Versus Pretty Deadly. Versus um, Briggs and Jensen. The two redneck hillbillies from Alabama. And the Creed Brothers. Ooh. You know what? This is actually going to... Oh. That might be a combo match. You know what? I'm just going to say the Creed Brothers win. They get all the belts. Next for the North American Championship, I'll tell you what, Carmelo Hayes has done an amazing job with. It's going to be Ricochet, King Ricochet, versus Carmelo Hayes. I'll tell you what, this is just really going to be to elevate Carmelo Hayes, but this is my match of the night. I think Carmelo Hayes is going to win. This is not going to be a boring match. This is going to be freaking amazing. Part of me says Ricochet would win. Nah, they're not going to bump Ricochet down yet. It wouldn't surprise me, but this is going to be fun. And I'll tell you what. There's a two women's matches. This is going to be my snooze match. This is the match that I kind of repower for, get ready for that afternoon, or that evening, whatever that is. Uh, Casey Canizaro and Caden Carter. I don't even know if I got their names right anymore. Take on Dewdrop and Nikki Glenn Cross. At least Nikki Glenn Cross looks badass. She does, she does have to lose the ASH part, though. I don't know. Just to make things interesting. Stew Drop is such a name though. Nikki Cross does need to hold something. Dew Drop and Nikki Cross win, but you know what? I don't know, just take a nap through this. Then we have the other women's match. And I'll tell you what. I've heard some internet rumors. I might be wrong, but I don't care. I mean Mandy Rose. Taking on 
Michael Salamora where does Blair Davenport? I think Blair Davenport was a uh, pre Priestley over there across the pond in WCPW. I don't know. Mandy Rhodes is going to keep that belt. I just want to see something slip out. Then my stone cold lock of the night is going to be Rex Steiner. I refuse to call him by Braun Breaker. And he's a full blooded Steiner. Takes on Tyler Breeze. You know what? Braun Breaker's going to keep that belt. He's still way too green to come up to the NXT main roster. I mean, Tyler Bates he could feud with for a while, too. They do some long thing. You can also reform Mustache Mountain, too. So, yeah, there's a lot to do. Braun Breaker wins, though. That's going to be when, when worlds collide. Oh, there's one more wrestling event. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and do this. I'll tell you what, Tony kind of hates us. He had all his matches. Insane. Again, as you know, I'm the one, the only hobo, Tom. You don't need my music. Whatever. The cult of personality. Yeah, there's my musical entrance. And they added a match tonight, too. This is going to be long. I will tell you what, up front right now, folks, I'm not watching all of this. Uh, Monday, I want to do my recap videos. I'll try to do the best I can. 14 wrestling matches in one night is way too much. I didn't even get wrestled up. Let's start things off, though. Ty Conti and Sammy Guevara put up their mixed tag team AAA belts versus Bucky Soho and Ortiz. I care all about this match. I just watched this match. It's a very bad match. I don't like that match. Therefore, I'm going to snooze through this match. And you know what? Just for the sake of keep, just for the sake of keeping the belts on them, Ty Conti and Sammy Guevara win. I'll tell you what, I was gonna snooze this match too. Tony Storm versus Britt Baker versus Jamie Her Jamie Hader versus Hikaru Shida. If I don't see something, either up top or down there, I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. So I'll tell you what, I don't know. This AEW all out is just like a good dynamite. Because God knows Rampage isn't that much better. But yeah. For Haha's Tony Storm's win, um, that's going to set up something between her and Thunder Rosa whenever she comes back. Whatever. Then we have the ladder match, the casino ladder match. You know what? What I've learned in these ladder matches always take the to be determined. Therefore, I am taking the to be determined person. Some people are saying MJF. I have no idea who it's going to be. I just know from past pay per views, always take the to be determined. Then you have the House of Black. We're just Darby Allen, Sting, and Miro, the Redeemer. My God, we'll smite these pagans. Ooh. You know what? Darby Allen, Sting, and Miro win. 
There are the faces. Then we have Jake Cargill versus Athena for the Hoes Championship. You know what? Just just let Jade Cargill have that belt. Athena, move on to better stuff. I'll tell you what. Tony Khan buries ex-female WWE talent for whatever reason. I mean, just look at what he did with Ruby Soho. Tony Storm he's done a little bit better with. I don't want to go that far to say it was good, though. Yeah, who knows? Um, then we have Ricky Starks versus Powerhouse Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs almost has to win this first match. Just to show how dominant he is. Um, Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. I don't know. Just just have Jungle Boy win it. Get this over. I'm just, I'm just like, get this over with. This is the one I'm kind of torn about. I don't know. If it's going to be Swerve in Our Glory or the Acclaim. The Acclaim don't reek of tag team championship material. Very entertaining. Do not get me wrong. Max Kotzer is great. But I mean, so are the Bushwhackers. They were entertaining as anything. But yeah, tag team champions, they were not. I'll say Swerve and Ergory keep their belts. Who knows? Um, let's see here. This is going to be my match of the night. Match of the night. Maybe I don't think anything else is going to be. Um, it's going to be Brian Danielson versus Chris Jericho. I think Brian Danielson is going to win. Maybe because he got tapped out or submitted or got injured by Jericho. They have to have Danielson come back some way. And then you have Wardlow and FCR versus Jay Lethal and the Motor City Machine Guns. Again, Tony is notorious for bearing outside people. World low and FTR win. <laughs> then for the trios tag team belt, and I told my friends, I said, listen, you, Diamond Mac Jack Maverick, the one, the only, a hobo Tom, and also Sicario should get together, form the hate club, and go for the trios championship. That's how many belts AEW's going to have. Or if some hobo off the street eventually going to have a title belt. The Elite's going to win. The Trios is their thing. Whatever. And then my stone cold lock of the night. Hook is going to defeat Angelo Park for the FCW Championship. That's a given. That's going to be a 30 second match. That's a squash match. They have Pac versus Kip Sabian. Kip Sabian changed his hair. Pac just got the belt. Let, let him run with it for a while. Then in the main event, we have CM Punk versus John Moxley. By the time this match goes on, I'm either going to be hoboing or I'm going to be asleep. So I don't care. I'll just say CM Punk wins. So that's what everyone else says. And that is AEW All Out. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hopefully I'll see everyone later. I'm not so mad it up.